Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Preliminary Examination 2016, scheduled for 28th of February, has been postponed. JCILPS slams Nagaland Chief Minister Tia Ziliang. JCILPS to carry out Safe Indigenous People campaign from 17th of February. Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad sworn in as the fourth judge of Manipur High Court. And Laisham Devendra Singh wins gold in his weight category in the ongoing 12th South Asian Games. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I am Tenshram Sangeeta with top stories and all the news we're breaking at this hour. Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Preliminary Examination 2016, scheduled for February 28, has been postponed. The issue of eligibility criteria for the Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Preliminary Examination was today conveyed to the Chief Minister Okram Ibovi Singh. Chief Minister today gave assurance that the present notification of the examination for 28th of February will be cancelled. The Chief Minister said a new notification will be announced after changing the eligibility criteria. Meanwhile, Manipur Public Service Commission is drawing criticism from all corners for allowing every citizen of India eligible to apply for the 82 different posts in the Manipur Civil Service Combined Competitive Exam 2016. Thawimban MLA Kumokchum Jokishan today said the notification issued by MPSC where it is mentioned that any Indian citizen can apply for the recruitment of some top administrative post is unfortunate. Speaking at a press meet held at his residence, MLA Jokishan said it is an attempt to suppress the state inhabited by different communities with very little population. He added the policy as anti-Manipur with many non-Manipuri domiciles applying online. Joy Kishan also added that the issue will be raised in the assembly and he demanded revocation of the notification. Manipur kumma pick rabai stay at amada online da submission tau basu mu yahal lai ma maang na susu kumma close ama hapak tabai se yam lai bak thini ngai ni. Koi ki Manipur ki stay at lai riba Manipur ki ching china and pantes pi da ba adu ga Asal apa buruk ke anak madu sengsel aga he na layak tinjau ayat tahu tu umat thoman bani ayat na manipur go mena asyik melalui ke kong tang se atau umat tanda handuk pina bayi na ayat na apil tahu jadi kong kong jah handuk tapa targa di ayat na akan ber kong jang amat sengsel aga masih kong tang si kong tu ane hai pesai ayat koi ki masih asyik apa firi ayat na manipur go mena asyik umat kong jah tamzat. Election of a new party president published in local dailies on 14 of February. Thayban MLA Jokishan said the news as baseless. He said the news item, which did not mention the exact source, is an effort to project division in the party. Jokishan maintained that change of president is the responsibility of the central leadership. And as of all the party members are loyal to incumbent president Thaunajum Chawa and will also show their loyalty to any president appointed by the central leadership. Kari Guma Makata na di sidel lay bagi pihak muda ini kampung na wangal orang terangka dia koi parti ke leadership sing central leadership kengal laga madu excel lokan na bapun na tau gani masak maming tang tu uya dana di sidel sakat pun man ba aduga parti ke central leadership sing na hairam bo wangal ni hairam hair bo potu na Manipur Prasad mian orang musung biji ki madapta samam na bapun orang bersih ayam lay bapun thini ngai ni masak maming do pangdu aga koi ki parti da madu manau tau dana bai na kengal ni masih amuk Hanya lagi gani, nanti kalau layeru heh bah aku istiad na, kalau lubang gamde, madu kita tang nak komen, pitok tanah pasu ayat kangen jari, macam si central leader sini na lepak bawa repta, aku ibu je pergi kami, kudem orang cap sana ngak na, capi na bah ayat apil tau jari. Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad was today sworn in as the fourth judge of Manipur High Court. Chief Justice L K Mohapatra administered the oath of secrecy to Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad at Manipur High Court Auditorium. Manipur High Court Judges, Justice Anne Koteshwar, Justice K. H. Nobin, Registrar General Serto along with Manipur High Court staff attended the function. Speaking to Impact News, Justice Ranjan Prasad said he will try to help the people of the state in legal matters. Rakesh Ranjan Prasad served as a judge in the Jharkhand High Court. With the God of Christ, I am here to do a lot for the Manipur people. Uh, perhaps this would be now my first home and the Jharkhand would be the second home. I sweat hard there to do justice with the people. Same thing I will be repeating here. 
I will leave no stone unturned for doing justice to the people of the Manipur. The second day of the biggest Naga sea sewing festival, Lungaini, was celebrated in Tankul Nagalong ground in Ukhul district. Mizoram Chief Minister Lal Than Haula graced the function as chief guest on the second day of the festival today. Taking part in the function, Lal Than Haula conveyed his wishes to everyone for a prosperous new year and a good harvest. Lal Than Haula told the gathering that he is optimistic that Naga Peace Accord will be finalized soon. Nagaland Chief Minister T.R. Zilang was the chief guest on the inaugural day yesterday. Cultural extravaganza, traditional dances and songs were the main highlights of the festival. Culture dances of Nagas and Mizos, folk songs, tug of war and other cultural programs were the main attractions of the festival. It is worth mentioning here that United Naga Council, the organizer of the festival, has not invited any state minister to this year's Lungaini celebration. Normally the festival is celebrated for a day on 15 of February every year. This time it is being celebrated for two days. I heard here that Mizo is a ghost, that two brothers, Mizo and Mehitya, wandered into this part of the country from Mizoro and got lost. While Mehitya stayed playing in the plains of Manipur, Mizo was wandering in the jungles of this area. And in that, he met Naga warriors. Even though they could not converse with each other, they have decided by pledge of some sign that they should become brothers and neighbor. In fact, while waiting eagerly for the Nagati support to materialize in the near future, and we are all praying for Joint Action Committee on Inner Line Permit System, JCRPS, has reacted strongly against the statement of Nagaland Chief Minister Tia Ziliang regarding the three bills passed by the State Assembly. JCRPS accused Nagaland Chief Minister of inciting hate feelings among the people of Manipur. Addressing media persons at his office in Kesampat, JCRPS convener Khumdram Ratan said the three bills is not anti tribal. Ratan further slammed the Nagaland Chief Minister Tia Ziliang for his statement. He said, JCRPS will carry out the Safe Indigenous People campaign for from 17th of February. JCRPS convener Kumdram Ratan slammed the Manipur Public Service Commission for the eligibility criteria too. Maruina, to whom do you have the Akanbeho Kanda, Assembly that I'll be Sana Sana by Wabla week? Do my bill pass or is Maruina, Manipuki, Singh Kutam by Yellowmi, Sikanaba, Tobuni, Aduna, Yellowmi, Tongtoka, and the Akanbo Kong Sankimi, Manipur Wangila, when I got in the Simis Aduna. Miki said Mungasanganda, Miki Mungasanganda, who comes and bring Munda, Biladu, and the Devil or Uni, and Consistor Oi, and the government, Adu Mamaki, Raji Kutum Kalonova, Tobuni Hakan Damana. Senior advocate Khaide Mani also condemned Nagaland Chief Minister T.R. Zilang for speaking against the three bills passed by the State Assembly to safeguard the indigenous people. Addressing media persons at his residence at Loklaubung, Khaide Mani said the three bills are not anti tribal. He accused Nagaland Chief Minister T.R. Zilang of trying to gain political mileage. Attending the inaugural festival of Lungaini in Ukhul yesterday, Nagaland Chief Minister Tia Ziliang had termed the passing of three bills by Manipur State Legislative Assembly as unconstitutional. Reacting to Chief Minister Ziliang's remark that Nagas were integrated and had their own territory in the past, Khaide Mani questioned regarding their total territory, language, name and the last king of the so-called Naga territory. Nagalin, a Sigi elected chief minister, Amana. Hari by assembly the past to give a bill of whom say anti tribal or a bill knee and a hygiene give a say. A Siamna, a quick live tip Amani. Hari by bill of whom say Kadonga the so anti tribal or a big of a machatam of a way out. Kagumi anti tribal or a bill or a matargadi, manipulative assembly in a past or a moi. The whom to talk to. A protection of Manipur people. Bill 2015, Aduga Manipur Land Revenue and Land Reform, um, Seven Amendment Bill 2015, Soap and Establishment Second Amendment Bill 2015. I say, I'm not going to pass Manipur is teaching me to me, I have to do that. Manipur is a liminary, but I think I'm going to do that. 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 
Mysore is the cleanest of the 73 cities and Dhanbad in Bihar is the dirtiest in the seminal Swachh Sarvekshan result the government rolled out today in New Delhi. Chandigarh, Tiruchirupalli, Delhi, NDMC and Vishakhapatnam came right behind Mysore in the top five leaders which have high levels of san sanitation and cleanliness. On the other hand, Imphal City has been adjudged as the top moving city in the northeast and has been ranked 15 in the leaders category. Chairman of IMC Nimai Sharma, Director Mahut, M. Geechandra and Executive Officer of IMC Uttam received the prize from Union Minister Venkaya Naidu on behalf of IMC. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Desam sees the attendance of Register of Teachers of Chairil High School at Chairil Makhalekai. During the visit to the school, Desam volunteers came across shortage of teachers. Signature of a teacher was found signed in the register, although the teacher was absent. Speaking to media persons at his office in Kaisampat, Vice President A. Anand said, Desam in a drive conducted on the 12th of this month unearthed the situation of the school. There are only seven teachers when there must be 14 and two out of seven were on leave. Another teacher, identified as Thokchom Tikendra, was not only absent from the beginning of the school session in January, but his signature was found as present in the register till 28th of February, including three Sundays. Anand added that headmaster of the school must be held responsible for the malpractices and also appealed to the authority concerned to look into the matter. Manipurida, Hoi Tongan Tonganba, Manipur Sharkana, Manipur Legax in a Sinbi, Hoi Tawidana, Tongan Tongan, Skimiama, SSA, Ramsa Tongan Tonganba, Skimiama, Masi Equi, Hadragalai, Hari Beskim Singh, Masi, 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 Namur, Urakanda, AI, DI, Amadi, Maila Nava, Tordis Singh, Masi Tavok Togim Hutta, Nalambiwena, Quai Percentes Lobiwena, Tikaram, Tikamuna Biwena, Masi Lambi, the Salagale, Sumana, Equi Tikamuna Bim Hutta, Pilla Salaganda, the Gusan Minister, the Gusan Minister Gimato Biba, the Director of Director Gimato Biba, Sumana to Biragadia, Hari Bay School Singh, Masi, Apobe Schoolama, or can have a separate Hari Batamdea. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol, Kada, have appealed to locals to help in the completion of the construction of 50 bedded rehabilitation center in Lamsal, Lamsang, Tauthong, Ayungba. The foundation stone for the center was laid in 2014. It was planned that the center's administration block will be inaugurated this month, but the main building of the center is yet to be completed. Kada President Yumnam Ratan Kumar said Kada aims to bring normalcy in the life of drug abusers. That is why the center is being constructed. He appealed to the locals to help in completing the construction of the center. Rehabilitation <laughs> A meeting was held for students of high school and college of Thobal district yesterday at the Sam Thobal district council office. The meeting discussed on prohibition of users of tobacco products and other issues. It's time for a small commercial break. We'll be back. Keep watching Impact News. Mana nung tigi chari bumaru marang yawa chinjak sing siyang. Masin akchangi pangala mo deliver sohan batana tana. Pok na ba acidity cha batum dapan ng chingba kaya narak niya. Imana pirak pahkang ang pok na bihidak lay recipe. Lips ka. Namana bus tingan nung tigi party. Sanga cha drabadi sukya magya drabra. Adum na kang drama le. Masin ang pok na batin bagi awa bato hon bayay. Lips ka nung tigi cha bana acidity cha batum daba kung habay at dapan. Adu ka chak sulam le. Liver po fara badi punsi sa super hit oiri.
Welcome back. You're watching Prime Time English News. A man allegedly stabbed his wife to death with a knife. The deceased woman has been identified as Lan Lun Him, also known as Bem Nu Tung Dim, age 32, while the husband has been identified as Kan Ring, also known as Koko, from Chinkul village in Chandil district. The incident occurred last night around 9.30. Bem Nu was stabbed in the stomach and chest by her husband. The family of Bem Nu told media persons that Koko was an alcoholic and used to frequently fight with his wife. Brother of Bemnu, Thangzamang Tungdim, appealed to give life imprisonment to Koko. After the incident, Chandil police rushed to the spot and arrested the accused person. Later, angry mob destroyed the house of the accused person, Koko. Bemnu is survived by two sons and one daughter. The body of Bemnu is deposited at Chenim Smok for post mortem. <laughs> Women of Nupi Khunai Chakotlup Wanghai Ningdhem Prokhimapal to this stage are certain. The women were protesting the incident when unidentified persons fired few rounds of bullets at the residence of Manohar Mayum Barish Sharma. The shooting incident occurred on the midnight of 13 of February. Speaking to Impact News, one of the protesters, S. Sangeeta, said this is the third attack on Barish Sharma. The incident has shook the locals of the area. Raj Medi City authorities today informed that an infant is yet to be claimed by his parents since November last year. Addressing media persons, Assistant General Manager Dinesh Khetrimayim said the hospital record shows that the father of the infant as Galimpo and mother as Abem Gangmai from Mujikul Thamiban. Dinesh Khetramayum said the child was born at Janims on 13 November 2015. The child was admitted at Raj Medicity after developing breathing problem and was treated at Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. The hospital authorities searched for parents at the given location but could not meet them. He said the child will be handed to NGO or related department in case the parents fail to claim the child within the next 48 hours. <laughs> Nasi Pauda, Mamam Pana, claim Tauduna, Lobinaba, Honaba Lake. Nangsi Nasibauda, Ras Medicity, a quick nursing staff mamna. Nangsi, you over yam healthy wina, which is Paul Lady. Nangasi, officially claim Tobina Vigida Mokta in a request to Zeri. Nangasi, forty eight hours Kimanunda, Karigumba Magi, parents in Sina, proper identification in the Luna claim to Vidava Tarabudi, Gomengi Authority Sing, Child Line, Social Welfare and Chingbada. I hen over Tauraga, adaptation Gidamakta, Pikina Bagidamakta, Tobanatana, Hospital Dadi, Masi Upayama, Irelataba, Oishilevich. All India Students Federation today kicked off a poster campaign called Let Us Stay Away from Drugs at BT Park. AISF Manipur State Finance Secretary Kesh Rameshwar said a drive will be carried out against the sales of intoxicant substances in canteens and shops in and around schools and colleges. Strong action will be taken up against those who sell such intoxicants. If any school or college canteen is found selling those things, school or college authority will be held responsible. Exam the Marine and Authorities in the Unpayment Season of Bayaro and Haragas, Greater Impal Katama, Satrag Organized Sensing, Civil Organized Sensing, Lunana, Marine and Authorities in the Yang Zan Biba, the Shikitang, Hydoka, and the Exam Gi, Parikagi, one to Yauda, Dugumba, Amho Oi, Masi, Zumarine and Authorities in the Yang Zan Biraga, a Koi Mapung Pava, Mating Leva, Adumba, Marikuna, I am a Sembada, Manipur Miam, Lunana, Civil Organized Sensing in Mapung Pana, Yang Sangbu, a school you can't in the May I cover Nisa, Yonba, Karigumba, Sibi members in the Tangaba Targadi, Madu Akan Bex and Logoni? Prizes were distributed to the winners of district level mega maths mock tests today at the Library Hall of All Manipur Students Union headquarters at DM College campus. The prize distribution function was organized by All Manipur Students Union Imphal East District Committee. 
The district level mega maths mock test was held as part of the Golden Jubilee celebration of All Manipur Students Union. Altogether, 154 students studying in class 10 and class 12 participated at the mega maths mock test. First top three winners were awarded 5,000 rupees, 3,000 rupees, and 2,000 rupees respectively, along with certificate. Speaking on the occasion, Secretary General of Northeast Student Organization NISO Sinam Prakash said, "Students." has to play a pivotal role in developing society as they are the pillars of future generation. The police work on the Thadola one step ahead. I am the Kung State of my hand as a kid. I am the King, I work on the later Roma, Marate, and the students in role duties. I do take a role, I do take a role. 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 Kochim Social Reformers Task Force in a press release said Government Primary School Kwakathil Konjig Lekai has been lying in dangerous condition and the headmistress of the school has also been neglecting the condition for about a year. KSRTF has lodged a complaint to ZEO about the same. A novel, Lissing Amma Supna Maripu Marigi Mama, has been chosen for Sahitya Academy Translation Award, Manipuri Language 2015. The novel is translated by Naurim Khagendra, Vice Chancellor of Manipur University of Culture and President of Culture Forum Manipur. Now, some sports news. In the ongoing 12 South Asian Games, India clinched the first three gold medals of boxing today. Lasham Devendra Singh, Madan Lal and Shiv Thapa were the Indian pugilists who claimed the top honours in their respective weight categories. Female pugilists MC Medicom, Sarita Devi and Pooja Rani will play their final bouts tomorrow. Earlier today, Indian shooters backed four gold, one silver and two bronze medals to finish the games with a total of 45 medals, 25 gold, 10 silver and 10 bronze. A goal each today came in the team and individual categories of women's 10 meter air pistol and men's 25 meter rapid fire pistol events. Gurpreet and Shweta were the gold medal winners. In Kabaddi, the Indian men's team will take on Pakistan while the women's team will clash with Bangladesh in the finals. In football, both the men's and women's team will play against Nepal for gold medals. India's medal tally currently stands at 167 gold, 89 silver and 30 bronze. Sri Lanka is second, while Pakistan is at the third place. And in Polo, Chinkai Hunba Polo Club backed the team champion in the 13th Sentinel Cup and the 7th Junior State Equestrian Championship 2016. And KMMRS backed the team champion in the girls and junior category. TH Kaoba Chinkai Hunba Polo Club won the title of Senior 10th Pegging Sword Individual. S. Abungcha of MPSC second and K. Malim Ganba of RKSSS got the third, while L. Okendro of RKSSS clinched the title of the senior 10th pegging lance individual. Bimol of MPSC and Dhaneshwar of Chinkai Hunba Polo Club got the third position. In senior show jumping, Y. Suraj got the first position, S. Jemson and Prem Kumar of KMMRS got the second and the third position. The championship is organized by Manipur Equestrian Association under the sponsorship of DG Assam Rifles and IGAR South at Imphal Polo Ground. The 10th Mega Marathon organized by United People's Front schedule on 24th of February has been postponed to 3rd of April. Speaking at a press meet held at his office at Kasampat, President of UPF Swaraisam Ratan Kumar, who is also the chairman of the organizing committee, said, the decision to postpone the event was taken in view of the board and council examinations. Ratan Kumar further said the marathon will be held in men's and women's open category with 30,000 rupees, 20,000 rupees, and 10,000 rupees as cash price for the first, second, and third position, respectively. Manipur Asida Lairiba Kunai Punamupu Tinzang Kaijang Daba. Tungi Miyang Amakaki Makada Masa Mau Paba Tamna with the Mukta Masigi Ran Polio Nasan Ran the Mega Marathon Haiba Aikoigi Lam Sang Lam Genesi Sinzebani Marathon Asida Manipur de Leriba Club Organization Amadi Sanababu Mapungo in a Pamzaba Punamanga High River Numit Asida Saruk Yabu 
Marathon as Hibu Mapung Kana, Pangtok Nabahonabada, Selgi, Medical Gi, Punamakna, Angamba, Mating Pangbu. And in football, the 12th under 16 state level THB Richandra Singh Football Academy Tournament 2016 kicked off today at the Academy's ground. LFAB Thinungai defeated MSC Malom by two goals to one in the opening match. El Mahesh Chan and Dinesho scored the two goals for the team in the 36th and the 68th minute of the match. And Kishan netted the goal of MSC in the 48th minute of the match. LFAA Thinungai and KLYC Irilbung in the first match and MTSU Malom and Klasa Kaino in the second match tomorrow. With that is a wrap in this edition of Primetime English News. Before we end, a look at the headlines once again. Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Preliminary Examination 2016, scheduled for February 28, has been postponed. JCLPS slams Nagaland Chief Minister Tia Ziliang. JCLPS to carry out Safe Indigenous People campaign from 17th of February. Justice Rakesh Ranjan Prasad sworn in as the fourth judge of Manipur High Court. And Laisham Devendra Singh wins gold in his weight category in the ongoing 12th South Asian Games.